Hi, what's up, guys? <laughs> Today I'm recording my first English video, and I'm with my boyfriend Daniel. <laughs> Now we are on the way to Daniel's parents' house. I would ask him about some questions about <laughs> learning English, Australian Chinese culture, and、uh, his life living in the farm. So, okay, let's do it. First question: How do you feel to grow up、uh, in your farm? Living on a farm is fantastic. You have,、yes. in our case, two hundred acres to run around and do what you want. Yes.、Um, it's better than living in a suburb like this. Yes. <laughs>、uh, no, it's a, it's really people from Dogo. People、oh. from、um, the city don't really understand what it's like to live on a farm. And I'm not saying that in like, oh, you don't understand. I'm saying that in a sense of it's completely different to living in a city or a suburb than it is to live on a farm. And people that live on a farm have a stereotype of、uh-huh. their hillbillies or the, you know,、yeah. that whole farmers are dumb. That's why they're doing farming.、Uh-huh. Um, which But it's not. It's no, it's not. Yeah. Yeah.、Um, my father, Daryl. He is, yeah. I mean, he's got a master's degree. He's got、yes. two master's degrees. Yes. So, oh, two master's degrees. Finance and master's of business. Oh.、Uh, so he did those full time while working on the farm. So、yeah. and I consider him, yeah. Well, he's my role model. Yeah.、Um, but he is, yeah. He, he's the reason I'm in uni. It,、yeah. It's really, it's really fun living on a farm. You have so much space. It, it's. Bright, it, it, like as in you have so much stuff to do. Yes. <laughs> do you want to go for a walk? You can go for a walk.、Um, do you want to go for a drive somewhere and to somewhere then go for a drive? Yeah, that's that's good. There's really no limit to what you can do on a farm, which is good. Maybe you haven't noticed that a lot of immigrants、uh, from overseas who just moved to Australia, they like to start like their agricultural business. So, what advice would you give to them to help them start a new agricultural business? It's extremely hard to start an agricultural business. Yeah, to get into the field. Yeah, you need property. You need connections, which is the main thing. So, Tasmania is a funny state. It's、yes. because it's small. You can't really do anything unless you know someone. Oh yeah, true. Trusted referrals in Tasmania go a lot further than qualifications. Um, nowadays, not many young people would like to inherit the family's agriculture business. Oh.、Okay. So, how do you think about this sort of like phenomenon? Um, I think that's true in a regard. However, I think. That the the level of education for farmers is going up,、yes. and I think it's less people are not inheriting their farms. I think it's they're taking longer to inherit it. Yes. So at the moment, I'm kind of the generation, we both are the generation、yeah. um, that is inheriting farms at the moment. So if we look at the baby boomer generation, they're all around between eighty and sixty. That is the largest age group to own agricultural properties in Australia. Yes. But my age group, between you know twenty or thirty, is the age where you would inherit the farm normally. But I think, like in cases of, well, in my case, for example, if my parents were going on to farm for the rest of their life, I would, and and I had a passion to keep that business going. Yeah. I would get my degree and then come back and work on the farm. There, there's a level of education that's not that hasn't been there in previous generations. Yeah.、Um, before my my dad, for example, he、uh, dropped out of school at grade nine. He worked on his he worked on his parents' farm up until he was seventeen, and then he drove to Queensland and worked in Queensland for five years. Yep.、Um, or longer, and came back and.、Uh, Bought his property off his parents, yeah, which is what we have now, and he's just grown it from there. So there was no push to get education, whereas now parents are pushing their kids. You know, you should go to uni because 
you'll learn to run the farm better. So because farming isn't just manual labor, yeah. now you've got technology to do it. And so between the mix of new, new practices like agronomy, yes. which is the study of uh, plant metrics, I guess is a good way to put it. Yes. Um, between that and all the new technology that's floating about, so we use GPS technology to drive the tractors for us. So when we are planting our potatoes, yeah. we use a tractor to guide us along the track. Oh, yeah. So I think it's it's a necessity to have an education now, and I think that's what parents are doing. Yeah. I think it's less not inheriting and more inheriting later. Were there any mistakes that you've heard uh, some like international friends of yours usually make? No, it just usually is mispronouncing my last name. General consensus. Who's last name? Oh my. <laughs> Mr. Larry. Larry, it's not Larry. <laughs> it was Larry. It's not. <laughs> oh, Mr. Daniel Robowski. Oi. <laughs> <laughs> so, Baba, what would you choose to grow if you can grow anything in the farm? Um. And it would just grow. Not, not worrying about the conditions, like the weather. Yeah. My non-existent beard. <laughs> <laughs> um, it would be roses. Roses? Why roses? So I can give you one every day. Oh, <laughs> oh stop flirting, please. <laughs> Or you can grow some uh, chicken nuggets. Grow <laughs> <laughs> oh, some KFC that. for my short short. <laughs> grow some KFC. As you wish. Or grow some chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Which directly is sent to KFC. So in exchange, you can get some nuggets from them. <laughs> Paid in nuggets, are we? Yeah. Are there many tourists coming to the Northwest? Yeah. Is there some tourist sites? There's some really nice sites like. Um, Such as? Um, Boat Harbour Beach. Uh, we have Stanley. Okay. Doctor's Rocks, if you're into that. Yes. Um, yeah, there's nothing much up here. Oh. <laughs> the penguins. Oh, penguin, yeah, the penguin penguins. habitat. The penguin penguin? Penguin penguin. Penguin. We have a penguin statue, like city in Penguin. In a town called Penguin, which we can go there and take a video. Yeah. That's to you, Shrek. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got to Tanami. Oh, is that all you can see in Mandarin? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, what do you have to do? I don't know. I speak on the wing of <laughs> oh, that's Chinglish! That's Chinglish? Yeah, what? I taught you very like useful Chinglish. Chinglish? <laughs> yeah, Chinglish. Is that Chinese English? Yes, it oh, is. Oh. <laughs> Don't flutter with me. Why not? <laughs> I wanted you to um, take my hand. Take my hand? But darling? Why we've slowed down is beyond me. I did the control for this road. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, so these oh. pink things, you'll see them on this side of the road. Wait. Uh, 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 see? Yes. Pink tape? Pink tape? Oh, yeah, pink tape. Pink did tape? you put the tapes on? I did all this, yeah. <gasps> My papa is such a good CPU. Pink tape? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. The there was a statue holding a. Mailbox, yeah. That's a mailbox. Oh, that, that was a mailbox. You open his stomach, you open his tummy, and you put a mailbox. Oh, yeah. that's so cute. Open my heart. Oh. My dear. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Open my lunchbox. Oh, lunchbox. <laughs> Ew, what's in there? <laughs> Look at my stomach. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no. Buddha. Leave my Buddha alone. No, oh, it's a bear. It's a bear. It's a baby hababa. Wait. <laughs>
Jo, jo, jo. Okay, alrighty. So, <laughs> bye -bye. Uh, what advice would you give to international friends to help them uh, improve their English? Well, I gave some advice to you, Shosho. Okay. Uh, which you haven't used. <laughs> okay. Uh, and it would be to volunteer oh, yes. at something like St. Vinny's or Red Cross. Yes. Um, because you spend a lot of time talking to people there and usually in English. Yeah. Um, the next would be to read books out loud, read English books out loud. Yes. Uh, when you read out loud, you not only say the words, but you also process them. Oh, for me, yeah, this is like a, a good uh, method to learn English, because if I don't understand something, I could ask you, it's like, how to pronounce this word in English? Yeah. Something like that. But for other people, maybe they do not have, like, a friend who can, you know, correct them immediately. Yeah, so that's when you, if you think you pronounced a word wrong or something yeah. like that, which is why you record it and play it back, and if it doesn't sound right, it's probably not right. Oh, okay. Yeah, record it, and then maybe play it in front of an English-speaking um, uh, friend. Yeah, an English-speaking friend, or just... English is meant to sound... I know it's a hard language, but it's meant to be... It's meant to sound smooth. Yeah. So... Where if we compare it to something like German, German is very heavy. It's a heavy language to hear. Yeah. Whereas English is very smooth. If you have a proper sentence, it should flow out like water. Yeah, from a <laughs> English like True, okay. <laughs> background um, person's point of view. But it might yes. be very crude for someone else. Yes, I see. Yeah. The other thing you should do. Is, oh, there. Oh, there's a, there's a car. Someone got involved with a car accident. Someone had a car accident. Oh, someone had a car accident. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, uh, uh, my last hint would be to spend as much time talking in English as possible. Oh, yeah. Right. Like all language, practice makes perfect. And if you do live in a share house, yeah. perhaps talk to them in English rather than your native language. Yeah. I know it yeah. feels weird, but mm. it's the best thing to do to learn. Yeah, I really wish, like, in my share house, there there could be, you know, someone from a different, like, culture, culture background. <laughs> so I won't feel weird to use um, English to talk to them. I, I don't think you should feel weird because it's because to them, you're trying to learn English through using it and it shouldn't you shouldn't have to feel it, you shouldn't feel weird trying to learn something because you're not expecting yeah. them to respond in English you're just saying the English you're saying you're saying it in English but they're understanding and responding whatever language they have yeah true but yeah. definitely practice makes perfect yeah and maybe volunteering sure sure intent Ooh. yes Volunteering with me? I said yes, I'm waiting for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll do it. Okay. No, not that kind of yeah, 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 yeah. It's a yeah, I agree. Uh -huh, I'll do uh -huh. it with you. I agree. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's very helpful. Thank you, Mr. Laurie, <laughs> for answering our questions. Oh.